Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a very cute cross stitch pattern using um, cross stitch professional platinum software and we're going to do it using an image. So let's go to file, import, from file. We'll go find our little Scandinavian fox. There he is. Select our image and that'll take just a few seconds. Well, first, let's tell it that we want a maximum of 40 colors, and we'll eliminate some of those as we go through, but we don't want any more than that, so we'll say OK. And now it's going to process and pull all the information together and create the beginning of our cross-stitch pattern of the little Scandinavian fox. So we'll just try to be patient as it works its way through and does its work. I should probably have some music in the background, but anyway, here we go. Okay. Now, right off, I can see that I want my background to be all one color, and it's multicolored. It's got at least three colors in there. This is the colors that are in this pattern so far, a maximum of 40. I think I would like for it to be this color, so let's see what that is. I'll use the eyedropper tool, click on that, come down, and click, and then scroll to see that is Savannah Gold, okay? So that's going to be our background color. Now in order to get rid of these other colors in here very quickly and easily, I have to go to the eyedropper tool again and I'll select this reddish one. It's right next to my Savannah Gold. I'll go to Savannah Gold, hold down the control key, drag over and replace that second color. So now it's an unused color. So that got rid of some of it. So now let's see what else. I see a little more red in there. So that's, oh it's a brown, okay. This Savannah Gold is what we want. So we'll click on that Hold down, control, drag upward, and get rid of that one. Okay, now we've still got some more. So let's get, see what this is. That's our Savannah Gold. Okay, so let's see what this is, the one above it. Okay, so I'll click on my Savannah Gold. Hold down, control, drag up, release, and it got rid of that color still have other colors in there so let's see what this is this is um sahara cream so go to back to my savannah gold hold down control drag over and get rid of that color ah looks like that did it so there were three other colors in there first thing i like to do is get rid of these unused colors so i'm going to go up to palette and then scroll down to remove unused colors we may do this again if we get rid of any more colors. But I'm going to use my navigator up here to move around and see if there's anything else I'd like to change. And I see that he has a lot of pink in his face and on his tail tip and his ears, and I don't want that. So I'm going to the eyedropper again, click on this pink. Okay, and I know that I want it to be this white, winter white. So I'll hold down the winter white, press on control, hold, and drag up to get rid of some of that pink. I still have a little other color in there. Let me see what that is. And that is this one. So we'll go to the winter white hold down control, drag up, and get rid of that one. Okay, so that cleaned that up very nicely. Got rid of those extra colors. I think that's going to probably be pretty much all we want to do. Let's just take a little look here. Mm, I might clean these up. So I'll click on the eyedropper, get my color, and then just click where I'd like to remove those or change those to my background color. 
my letters look nice and clean. I might take that one off, yeah. Maybe I'll even take that one off. Okay. Then let's zoom out a little bit, get a bigger picture. See if this is all the changes we want to make. And then I'll move this up. And I would say that that's about all I want to change. Just adjusted some of those colors. Okay, so now I would like to go to palette, remove unused colors again, get rid of those. This is winter white. This is Blanc. They're very much the same. So I'm going to go to my winter white, click on it, hold down control, drag over. And get rid of that one. And then go to palette and remove unused colors. So now I want my palette, my thread in numerical order. So I'm going to go to sort and I'm going to go to the first, which is the one, two, three sort. And that puts them in numerical order. Easier to find on the printout when you're looking for your different thread colors. And that is about that. Now let's go and get a picture that we can use on the internet to show off this little cutie. So we'll go to File, View and Frame. And we're going to go to all these multicolored things up here and choose white. And then we'll go down here and choose white for a frame. And then we're going to export it. And just say OK as far as the size. I want it to be a JPEG. Say OK. Save it over this guy. And that's done. So now we can X out. And now we want to print this into a PDF file. So I'll go, oh, I guess I should save it first. Save it to. Right here, we already had one in there, so we'll replace it with this nice clean version. And then we'll go to File, Print, put in the name, and then put in my name. Copyright. 2021 and for these different ones only this one and this one are the only two I use I already have my key set up and they have videos online about how to do that but for the area I just leave everything as is except I change the squares per inch to 8 because I prefer that over 10 or 12 which is very small to look at and then I go to format and I changed mine to color blocks with symbols and white symbols on dark colors. That's the only thing I changed there. Then the printer set up. I have mine set up to do a PDF. So I will click print. <coughs> and this will take a few minutes or a minute. It's processing a lot of information for making it into a PDF. So we'll just be patient while it does its work. When you see blue lines going across the bottom, 
That tells you that it's just about finished. And we're not there yet. We're still waiting. There we go. The blue lines. And now it wants to know where do we want to save this. And we want it in <clears throat> September 19th, I believe. Yes, in the cute Scandinavian Fox folder. And I already had one there, so we're going to overwrite and then just create the PDF. And this is what the PDF looks like. It has the name, the size, and then on into the pages of the pattern to be stitched and then the symbol key is at the end showing that it's 14 count and the different colors that you'll use and that's it nice nice program very clean easy to use a little bit of a learning curve but once you get it it's pretty nice